over here we have been given four things number one a mechanism it is a six bar number two all the link lengths number three a angle that defines a certain configuration of this mechanism and number four the angular velocity of one of the links now this being a single degree of freedom mechanism in theory knowing the velocity of one link should allow us to calculate the velocities of all other links so let us start by drawing the mechanism to the given scale first and this diagram is called as the configuration or space diagram it represents a certain configuration position of this mechanism next we will start with the velocity diagram where we will be plotting the velocity images of all the points in the configuration diagram the convention that we will follow is capital letters are used in space diagram while velocity diagram will use lower case letters we start by what is known so we will start from this link oa and its point o is stationary so it can be immediately plotted so we have plotted the fixed point o or its image rather over here then we'll move on to point a here it is in circular motion so its velocity will be perpendicular to the radius oa and its magnitude will be oa the length multiplied by omega so we have plotted our first line next we proceed to point c we know that with respect to a point c will execute a circular motion so velocity of c relative to a will be perpendicular to ac so we can at least plot the locus of c it should be somewhere on this line we don't know yet where next we will take one more clue from c's velocity and that is c is on the slider constrained to slide in this vertical guide since this guide is fixed that is the absolute velocity of c so we can plot that from our absolute stationary point o so this is another locus of velocity of c and wherever these two meet that is where our point c will be so we have found the velocity image of c the velocity image of b will be situated on this line ac in the same ratio as this ac so we can divide it in that same proportion in the same ratio and get the image of b from b we can proceed to point d over here again d will be executing a circular motion relative to b so velocity of d will be perpendicular to bd so we can get that locus that is our sixth line and d is also constrained to slide in this slider whose angle is known whose direction is known so that is another locus we can plot since this guide is fixed it is relative to o wherever these two intersect that is our point d so we have essentially finished the velocity diagram because we have found the velocity image of every point in the space diagram over here next we read off all the velocities from the velocity diagram and since these are linear velocities they are directly applicable to these sliders as for the angular velocities we need one extra step for example to find the angular velocity of link bd we need to take its velocity image the lower case bd scaled off to the velocity scale and divide it by the actual length capital bd from the space diagram that will give us the angular velocity of link bd the same need to be repeated for link ac as well the sense of the angular velocity can be found 
by the direction in which D is moving relative to B. So here the sense will be counterclockwise.